This is Overwatch. Tune in for the latest information and news for the hunting, shooting and outdoors. Hey guys, Matt here. Well, it's been a really big week and if you haven't been following the news, I really wanted to talk about what's going on with fishing here in New South Wales and we are a hunting podcast and the reason we have Beyond in there is because, well, we've got a little bit of everything which includes fishing. So I'm really concerned about what has happened here. Now, let's unpack it for you guys if you haven't seen the news. So earlier in the week, we had an announcement by the Agricultural Minister, Tara Moriarty, who has put a 12-month ban on groper fishing altogether. So it's already banned here in New South Wales for them to be taken with a spear gun. And now that's been further enforced over to line fishing. Now, you might be asking, why has this occurred? So in December, a 26-year-old bloke actually shot a groper in Cronulla. Uh, Now, the groper was known as Gus the Groper because it was a popular fish in the area. And this high-profile fish killing, is what they're saying, is one of the reasons for it. Now, another person allegedly done the same thing down in Jarvis Bay. What I really want to say here is that it was already illegal to spearfish. And so these people have done the wrong thing. And like, there's so many elements to this, but let's talk about the concerns that I have. Number one is the minister has banned or put a 12 month trial ban on groper fishing because a couple of individuals did the wrong thing. So she's punished all the law-abiding people out there who consistently do the right thing because of a couple of high-profile issues. Now, this has major problems. One, there's no evidence, there's no science, there's no data to say that there needs to be a ban on line fishing for groper. So this is pure emotion. My concern is that if this is happening in fishing, what's going to happen in hunting? And if we are setting the precedent like that has just occurred that, hey, We're not going to worry about what the data says. We're not going to worry about science. We're not going to worry about research. We're not even going to ask people. We're just going to ban it. Well, I've got major concerns because what happens when Bambi comes out later this year or next year in live action? Oh, the poor deers, we need to ban shooting because it's terrible for them in the lead up, which we all know is a load of crap. Now, I want to touch on something else here. The minister was asked by Mark Benasiak, and I apologize, Mark, if I murdered your last name, to identify a fish from a picture he had when he was younger. The minister couldn't. It was a groper. Now, how can we have a minister banning fishing when doesn't even know what a fish looks like or a species of fish looks like, I should say? And the next thing, which makes it even worse, is that when we talk about people doing the wrong thing, let's just look at last year. So in 2023, in New South Wales, 1,459 people were charged with offences for fishing. I want you to think about that number, 1,459. There are so many more people with fishing licences here in New South Wales. That is a literally a drop in the ocean. So once again, the small, small minority has severely impacted the large majority of people who do the right thing. That's not right. The next thing I really want to say is that we can have all these laws and we can have all these uh, rules in place, but out of those people that did the wrong thing, it's alleged that most of them rarely even end up in court. So the penalties, the 12-month prison for a second offence, all these things that they're putting in place, it doesn't impact people doing the wrong thing. If people are going to do the wrong thing, they're going to do the wrong thing. But in this instance, we're just punishing those people that are law-abiding and doing the wrong thing. This is an absolute disgrace in my opinion. I do really encourage everybody, write to your local member because this is a 12-month trial. Again, the people that do the right thing are being punished for the smaller few. How about we get serious about punishing people who do illegal stuff rather than just a blanket ban? If you have a topic, guest, question, or any gear that you want to hear about on the podcast, shoot us an email, australianhuntingandbeyond at gmail.com. Alternatively, find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links are in the show notes. If you haven't already, 
make sure you give us a review and subscribe to our podcast on whatever platform you're listening on. Thanks for joining us and we'll catch you next time.